What's going on, Muscle Monsters? Alain Gonzalez here, and today I'm gonna to give you somewhat of a formula for creating a well-rounded chest workout routine. All right, so let's talk about the chest and the anatomy of it. It's pretty basic, right? We have the pec, minor, and major, which is pretty much the whole pec, and then we got the upper clavicular or the upper chest, okay? And the functions are pretty basic. The upper chest is going to flex the shoulder while the pec minor and major is going to extend the shoulder and then all together they are going to bring the humerus across the body. All right. So what I would recommend you start off with is a big heavy compound that's really going to target the pec minor and major because obviously this is the larger part of the pec, right? So an exercise you can use is either the flat bench press with a barbell or a dumbbell or the decline bench press with a barbell or a dumbbell. Either one is going to work perfectly fine for loading that muscle, okay? Just choose one or maybe alternate between them. It's completely up to you, but always start your chest workout with one of those movements. All right, then next, we wanna do the same, but we wanna target the upper clavicular. Okay, we're gonna do this with either an incline barbell press, an incline dumbbell press, or if you wanted to, you could even do a cable crossover from uh, low to high to really isolate that upper uh, clavicular, okay? Now, one thing that I do wanna mention is, um, just for the sake of variety, if you start your first lift with a dumbbell, then perhaps doing uh, a barbell or a cable for your second lift would allow the workout to, to seem like there's more variation as opposed to doing barbell, barbell, etc. Right? So, and that's just you know my recommendation. You don't have to go that route, but it's it's pretty much what I do when I'm training my chest. Okay, and then lastly, we want to do a nice isolation exercise that's going to hit the whole pec. And that's why I always recommend that you finish your chest training with some kind of a fly, some kind of a movement that's going to allow you to bring the humerus across the chest completely, whether it be the pec deck, uh, dumbbell flies, or even flies with the cable. Either one of those movements is going to be great to finish off your chest workout. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, click the like button below. That'll let me know that you want to see more muscle groups. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure to download my chest training DVD. It's completely free. Link below. Go there. Put your name and your email address, and you'll get instant access to those videos. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.